keep the wallet in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is China. If you are new and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. We have some shapewear. Shape LLX sent me two shapewears and it is a woman's shapewear brand that offers a variety of flattering silhouettes for any occasion. With sustainable materials and high quality fabric, we carefully curate each product to provide a solution for every outfit in every closet. Our brand gives women the freedom to express her unique style and reveal her true self to the world. When you put on Shape LLX shapewear, you are putting on the ability to live your life to the fullest, laugh with friends, and be totally free to express yourself. Women have been using Shape LLX to define their lives. In a world asking you to fit in, it's time to stand out. It's time to put you on display. Live, laugh, and express. So I got a large in both of my shapewear and it was, when I put it out of package, I was like, oh my goodness, how am I gonna be able to get in this? Okay, so I definitely need it. So I definitely needed a large, extra large. <laughs> it was so hard getting this. Oh my God. But this is the first one. Oh my God. I don't know how I'm about to get it off. But as y'all can see. <laughs> I don't want to turn it on for obvious reasons. But um, I probably could turn a little bit. But, yeah, this is the first one. Now I got to try on the second one. Um, I'm covering up because it's kind of see-through. But this, and I'm going to put on an outfit as well so you guys can see how it would look with clothes on. But it definitely fit, and I cannot see it under my clothes. And I feel, as for me being on a thicker side, I really needed something because I have a pudge. <laughs> So I really needed something that will help me. Thank you so, so much to Shape LLX for sending me this beautiful shapewear. Make sure you guys check them out. Everything will be linked down below. So this is how it would look with clothes on. Um, I never used to be a shaper girl. Now I can't walk out the door without shaper on. So this is how it will look with clothes on this is this is perfect this is how I want to look cause y'all know I've been in a gym so this is how I want to actually look when I'm done but this right here you will literally feel so comfortable in your outfit in your clothes Now let's try on the other one. It's gonna be a struggle. <laughs> Baby, it was a struggle getting in this. I'm already sweating and everything, but let's try on the other one. So, okay, so this one is a dress. This is the same size as the other thing, but this is a dress. So I can actually wear this under a dress if I want to, or I can even wear it out. Um the the this is a medium large the other one was a medium large as well but baby i need a large extra large in that but this feels so good it will if i have on a black dress or like a dark color dress i will definitely wear this under it to make sure that everything is looking how it's supposed to look um and then like this, I feel like I can even wear this just like this. I wonder if it's just like a dress that I could wear outside. But yeah, I love it. Make sure you guys check them out. Everything will be linked down below. Make sure you guys check them out. And thank you guys so much for sending this shapewear. Yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. She 
about to fly me on the wings, can She about to take me on the wings, can Nigga can't even see me on the wings, can She about to fly me on the wings, can She about to fly me on the way out of here Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is China. If you are new and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. So I am sitting here drinking my tea and I just decided that I wanted to do a QA. Um so I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I'm just gonna go ahead and answer what you guys asked. So I'm sitting on my chair. This is where I've been like doing my work and everything at. So yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, first of all, let's just say this. I asked this two months ago. I have to get up on my Zoom because I asked you guys to ask me questions two months ago and here it is, October 10th. And I'm just now about to answer. So the first question says, hey, China, two questions. Love the plant on the top of the fridge. Where did you get it from? Also love your wig units. Can you share where do you buy them from? Thanks. So first of all, the temp, the plant that's on top of the refrigerator, I believe I got that from like Home Goods. Um, they have stuff like that, Home Goods. I believe it was Home Goods. So um, I got that a few years ago. And then second, um, I don't really wear wigs like that, but I will have it linked down below if I can find it. I, it was Hair VV is where I got my wigs from. So I will link them down. We'll put a link down, but Hair VV is where that I got all of my wigs that I did have from them. <laughs> Next question is, hi, China. First off, you are beautiful and seem like a warm, genuine person who is so positive. I love your vlogs and have and have been enjoying your content, your new content. You are doing such a great job and you are so inspiring. My questions are what made you move from Ohio to where you live now and who in your life inspires you? So first of all, uh, Leo Brown Girl, thank you so much um, for saying that. Really appreciate that. I moved from Ohio because when I first moved to Georgia, First of all, I visit. I came up here to visit and I worked at a club. And when I see how like black, us as black people were able to just live and have more. And then I came up here and made way more money within about three to five days than I made in like a month of working in Ohio um, at the club. I was a dancer at the time. so. I made a lot more money and I was around celebrities. I was dancing for Life Jennings. They took me shopping the next day. Well, his friend did. Like, I was just like, how am I around celebrities? Like, you just go outside and you, that's when I was into that. You know, I was young. I was like 19. So, was I 19? Yeah, but um, I was just like, the fact that black people were able to drive really nice cars and live a nice life I was like I gotta move because I've always known when I lived in Ohio that I was I didn't feel like I belonged there um it was so boring it was nothing to do it was no like really nice restaurants it was just nothing I felt like why am I here so that was the reason why I moved and then um and my mom also said that when she came to visit me and she saw how like black people was able to live and we we used to love going to ride past like really nice big houses that would motivate us and she would see like black women walking outside of that door of that really nice house and she was like i gotta move like the fact that people are able our skin color are able to live like this done so um and then you say who and your life inspires you so it's two people that inspire me um and first i will say my mother um that's because she supports me no matter what whatever i'm doing it she's gonna be there to support me she helps me out she um always taught me how to be like a clean girl and she just helps me out a lot i've watched her be a strong 
black woman and take care of three children by herself. And she just, she helps me out a lot. Um, but I also help her out as well. Like I always say, I never want anybody to feel that I'm just taking, 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 because that has never been me. So she helps me out a lot with my children and um, she's the type of person, she'll tell me, go get the money. I'll sit here with the kids, you go get that money. That, okay. And then the next person I can say who inspired me is my kid's grandmother. Um, because no matter what, even whatever situation that me and her son dealt with or go through, she has been there for me. She helps me out with my children. She sent encouraging messages. She wants more for me, for my children. She gives and help and support us no matter what. Um, she's the type of person that will sit on the phone with you for hours and hours and help you like with anything that you need help with. I don't care if it's an application, I don't care what it is. She's willing to use her time and help you. And then she know that I'm a woman and she have been there before things that I go through as a 34 year old woman. And she just encourages women. She's all about women. And I really love that. She's all about leveling up and she's all about staying single until you meet that person that will protect and provide, even if it's for her grandchildren. And she also helps me out a lot with them um, when she doesn't have to at all. So she helps me out with them. Um, she's really smart. And yeah, I mean, I don't care what it is. Y'all do not understand, I don't care what it is. She's willing to sit for hours and hours and hours and hours to help me. Or tell me, this is what you need to say. This is what you need. She will send me an email, okay, about everything that I need to say from start to finish. <laughs> so, um, and she's all about leveling up. Like, y'all know she bought me the uh, laptop, the um, HP laptop. Um, she has got so much stuff <laughs> to help me grow and become a better woman, a better mom, a better friend a better whoever and she also still looks at me as one of her daughters um so yeah those are two women that encourage that inspire me um it's a few more but for the most part the two women that's in my life are amazing so and sheree inspire me Sheree, sprinkle, sprinkle, okay, definitely inspire me. I feel like me as a woman, um, and I feel like I always went the wrong direction when it came to my relationships and men. And, you know, sometimes our mothers would tell us like, no, that ain't it. Hell, my kid's grandmother was telling me, girl, no, <laughs> that ain't it. And... You know, sometimes we don't listen. It takes us to hear from someone else to be like, okay, no. So listening to Shira's videos helped me out tremendously. Um, and I feel like now I pick a better um, type of man. And I also stopped going for my type. It was time for me to switch up my type of man because Things were not working and I cannot keep putting myself in the same position or doing the same things or getting in a relationship with the same kind of man that I'm used to. Absolutely not. So Sheree as well is another woman that I am inspired by. So the next question is, hey boo, does Junior have a therapist who comes to the house as well? And does he see his father? So Junior does not have a therapist that comes to the house. Um. I started looking up, y'all. I started looking up a therapist that will come to the house on the weekends because I'm like, I need help. At the end of the day, like, it is a struggle. It is a struggle for me just being a parent um, and especially, like, to him. Y'all, I can't even lie, it's a struggle. It'd be a lot. Um, 
it's hard for me to get stuff done. And it's like, I have to get stuff done while they are at school. Like in two hours, it's time for me to walk out this door to go get them from school. So I have to get everything that I need done before four o'clock. So, um, and I just feel like it's not enough time in a day. Like I know people are like, oh, that's more than enough time. It's not. Um, I went walking today. Um, got on my laptop, got some work done. And then now I'm doing this video. And by the time I'm done, I need to start dinner or like, it's just not enough time in the day. And I'm also supposed to be going to go get my nails done. But it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So yeah. Um, and does he see his father? Um, I don't know if I wanna speak on like his father because I got to the point to where I told myself, just shut my mouth. It is what it is. And only thing that I can say is you guys know that I have my kids every single day. So I'll just put it like that. I just, like I told y'all, I just learned how to just shut my mouth. Cause I used to come on here all the time and just make a video. Like I'm going crazy. I'm like, I'm, I don't have a break, but I realized it is what it is. Like it's, it's so many women that's out here dealing with the same stuff that I deal with and Granted, I know that that can help them be able to deal with it or not feel so alone, but it's just time to move on. <laughs> like it is just time to, and I had to tell myself that it's time to move on. It is what it is. The only thing, like I said, y'all see that I have my kids every day. So y'all know exactly. <laughs> um. So the next thing is where does your shyness stem from? I feel like I've always been a shy girl. I have always been a shy girl. Um, I don't know, I've always been a loner. I'm a loner type of woman. I can I can have so much fun by myself. Um, and I've just always been shy. Like I get nervous, my palms get to sweating. There's no way I can stand on stage with a microphone and have a speech. But then again, I also used to be a dancer. So it's like, how can't you stand up there and talk to thousands of women on the microphone, but you stood on the stage and danced. <laughs> um, but I also used to drink um, when I was a dancer. Like that's when I started drinking. Um, you guys know that I'm on day 54 though. No alcohol, no hookah, no any of that. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've always been shy. Um, I've always been like, the princess type of girl. <laughs> like, I've always been a princess. Um, even when I was younger, like me and my sister used to get in, we used to get into it so bad because my sister was like, she hated that I played with Barbies. Y'all, she used to bully me. She hated that I was a girly girl and I played with Barbies and all of that. And I used to be in my own little world, play with my little Barbie dolls and she used to kick them, rip the head off like, girl. But anyway, um, I've always been shy. I don't know why. <laughs> um, the next question is, how do you juggle time with a teen and a toddlers? So um, I feel like with that, um, I just learned how to like schedule everything. Um, I feel like planning out my life and planning out everything, it helps out tremendously. And like today, Ada is at home, she's upstairs. Me and her actually are supposed to be going to the movies when I'm done with this, doing this. So I chose the movies with her over going to go get my nails done today. But um, she doesn't have school today. So um, I just, you know, usually when I have free time, like if my mother get the two little ones, then I'll take AJ, just me and her go to the movies or we go out to eat where I always ask her, what do you want to do? And I just, and she also helps me out a lot with them. Like, even today, she didn't have school today. So, and you guys know she's in high school, so she didn't have school today. So, she made both of them some breakfast um, this morning. Like, Amelia like cereal, Junie like oatmeal and grits. So, she made his oatmeal and made Amelia's cereal. And then I got them dressed. And, like, she just helps out a lot as well. Um, and she just loves them, so she helps out because she wants to and because they love her so much. And 
all they know is me and her and my mom. Um, so anytime they're around either one of us, like they're going to latch on to, you know, um, so it plus she know about like I've been telling her about like kids with autism and stuff and how they need a little bit more help and love than you know your child so but we spend a lot of time um we're home every day it's I'm literally at home with my kids every day when they're out of school all they see is me so we sit on the couch we have girls day we have uh movie night we do stuff we do a lot of stuff that i don't vlog because honestly like i've just been pulling away since i started youtube pulling away from posting up my children like that because you know it's a lot um so i've just been not posting up everything next question is morning china when you come into church with me um Next question is, how did you grow your YouTube channel? Do you have any tips or tricks on becoming a successful social media influencer? Okay, so um, I grew my channel by, I feel like being consistent. I chose Monday, Wednesday, Saturdays to upload my videos. So people automatically knew, hey, I know China gonna post up the, one of these days. Even if it's one day out of this week, she gonna post up. We know for sure that it's Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Um, and then also I feel like consistency is key to everything and quality, not quantity. And I feel like before I was just all about the quantity. I got to get these videos out. Now I have been putting way more into my videos and I have not been just throwing them out there just to throw them out there. So, but I also don't feel like I am successful on my YouTube platform yet, but I can speak from a social media influencer because for me, you guys do not know about like my dancing days. I was very, very popular. Um, and I basically started my YouTube channel by my personality and being me, not being the dancer, China, or because like I said, you guys do not know how popular the other China is. And I just don't speak on it because I feel like this is me speaking on my real personality and mothering, mothering and my day to day life and routines and, you know, things like that. So, um, but with that, you know, of course, with the dancing China that grew so fast, like I grew I've always been on social media. I grew my platform for my dancing half a million. Um, half a million. And it grew so fast because of, of course people wanna see the dancing and I used to get paid to show up at clubs. But now that I'm more into, okay, I wanna show up and speak to other women that are single mothers that went through abuse that have children with autism like i can speak on those things i'm a girl's girl so all of these things beauty makeup you know so um the next one is do you have multiple sources of income and everyone liked that so i definitely do um have multiple sources of income i feel like right now in today's world we have no choice but to um especially having children like it is extremely hard and before things was kind of hard but not as hard as it is right now so i definitely have multiple sources of income um so yeah honestly just being realistic and being honest youtube is the least that i make this is the least and I have to do the most work for my YouTube channel. So just imagine like, I'm really doing this because I love it and I love being able to help women um, and leveling up. I feel like what my YouTube channel has taught me things about myself or I'll go back and watch a video of myself and it motivates me and I'll be like, girl, no, that was a mess. Or I'll edit my vlogs and I'll be like, no. 
like you got to get it together that looks a mess this looks a mess i'm that type of person so um but like i said youtube is the least amount of money that i make more i make more on all of my other things that i do than i make on my youtube channel so um like i said i really love doing youtube um you got to before you even make anything you actually gotta love this and you gotta put so much work in before it even baby so uh the next thing is do you have any favorite shows i absolutely i don't watch tv um but shows i really like the ultimatum um i've been getting into insecure um i just actually started i'm on season one for insecure um i like i like selling miami like stuff like that i like to watch stuff that motivates me um but the ultimatum don't motivate me and i feel like when i watch stuff like that i feel like that's how i was before but then again they're all young they're like 20 23 so um watching the ultimatum i like stuff like that um I don't watch anything that's messy. I just can't do it. Um, so the next question is, um, how's your new relationship going? Um, to be honest, I'm, I am single. Um, I just have, you know, I'm just having fun. And honestly, I wish that I knew that it was like this before I was hopping, jumping and hopping in a relationship just because a man wanted to be with me. I wish that I would have known this. Because I feel like with me, single me, I am learning so much about myself. I am so happy. I am like, I literally walk down my steps every single day and just be so grateful because a man is not, <laughs> I don't have to wake up to an individual. I don't have to worry about an individual. I just, I am so happy and I am figuring out what do I want and basically becoming the best version of myself and i love that for me if i would have known this baby okay i learned how to love myself more so um yeah i am single and i love where i'm at right now and of course, I have guys that want to be with me, but it's not going to be easy at the end of the day. Like, it is not about to be easy because I was always too easy to, okay, just because a man said, I want to be with you, let's be in a relationship. Okay, that's fine with me versus getting to know an individual and becoming friends before that relationship starts or come. So, yeah, I am doing great. Um having a relationship with myself basically um and building that stable relationship with my children and just you know all of that i am great <laughs> uh so the next question is hi china what's your favorite food i would say oysters is my number one um i love oysters um yeah, I love oysters. <laughs> the next is what are your hobbies? Um, I feel like my hobbies are like solo dates for myself. Lately, I've been getting into like cooking classes, even though I have not been to one yet. But that was one thing that I said um, for a next date that I want to do. Cooking classes, um, making how we made the candles, um, making perfumes, stuff like that, having fun and um I've always been a tea girl, but lately I've been, oh my God, drinking so much tea, like two to three cups of tea a day because I feel like I don't drink anymore. So the tea helps, like it makes you, I don't know, like, you know how you usually go for a glass of wine? I've been going for a glass of tea and um, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I have now, uh, tea and um yeah stuff like that like i actually saw a restaurant that i want to go to it's called dirty tea i believe and it is a black owned business um and i just i'm into more of that like i want to dress like a tea girl like i just 
love some tea and um yeah that's just been my hobby stuff like that movies um spending spending time by myself uh getting my nails done makeup love makeup just girly feminine stuff i love i feel like another hobby which might sound crazy is being feminine like i just love being a woman i love walking around my house even if i'm just in my house looking my best um and yeah oh and another hobby the gym i love it helps me it helps me deal with the stress of the world it helps me deal with my children it helps me deal with life going to the gym or walking um and i beat myself up a lot if i do not do that i will beat myself up a lot the next thing is how do you budget i feel like with me um me, i've always been really good with money and not always when i was younger i wasn't but when you realize okay i don't have nobody who going if i fall back yeah i ain't got no choice but to make sure that i save um and i feel like once you start having children and, and you just start having stuff it will motivate you like oh no and you never want to be a burden on nobody so i always say to make sure that you have two to three months of your rent and bills or mortgage or whatever saved up because anything could happen and i feel like manifesting writing down your goal um if you say you want to make if you say that you want to save a fifty thousand dollars in one year do that um and you stick with that you don't as soon as you get paid you spend your whole check on clothes because you want the latest clothes or trendy clothes put money away that you cannot touch you get your savings account you i feel like when we for me i just feel like me about to be 35 next month i had to tell myself like you cannot just go spend all your money like you have you're a woman and you have children and you need to make sure that you have you don't want your bills getting coming off every month or also it's coupons it's all kind of stuff don't buy stuff full price i tell y'all that all the time like jay looks like well y'all know that i love their clothes on there i've never bought their stuff full price because if you click if you type up jay Lux label coupon code it'll be different websites and all you gotta do is click on that link and I always go to, I think it's retail me. I click that and then it'll have different codes and all you do is press ding, copy, and then paste it and there go 15, $20 gone off your purchase. So do those things or do it when it's on sale or um, yeah. And I also strongly feel like when you know that you have a few months of bill money put up you feel so comfortable. You're not working paycheck to paycheck to pay your bills. When you know that, oh, I have about $10,000 saved up or I have about 20,000 saved up, you feel amazing. You feel like nothing will stop you. Um, but I also know right now it is extremely hard for people. And I, I always say this, it is extremely hard for everybody right now, so. The next one is gorgeous queen thank you so much the next one is um you look beautiful china in this photo thank you um the next one is does your mom live with you no my mom do not live with me she has her own place we did live together for a while um actually honestly this is my first place that i've ever lived by myself in a very long time um the place before this she did live with me the place before that she did live with me and the place before that but I told myself, like, I need to have my own space and I need to learn how to be alone and be a parent and be, you know, and I feel great. When I tell you, I literally walked down my steps last night to get me some fruit and I was naked and the kids was already asleep. And I walked downstairs and I just was like, I thank you guys so much. Like, for me, I've always lived with someone. And, well, someone has always lived with me and people has always helped me pick out this or that or I didn't never get a place that I wanted because of other people lived with me or I didn't get the car that I wanted because I was in a relationship and he felt like oh no you need to get this car you don't need nothing nice and it's like now I'm making my own mistakes and I am 
picking what I actually love. And when I tell you, when you get what you want, it feels a hundred times better. I did not care for, like, this is my, I always say this, this is my dream townhouse and this is my dream car that I am driving. And I picked these things out. And so, yeah, my mother does not live with me. Um, she has her own place. She's actually about to move, I believe. And um, yeah, when I moved here, she went ahead and moved in her place and I moved in mine and it feels amazing, okay? Okay, so it's only two more questions. It says, uh, where were you born and raised? I, I am born and raised in Akron, Ohio. Um, I've been living in Georgia since 2010. AJ was born in 2009. So when she was one, I moved to Georgia. The next question, I mean, the next one is, hello, Nubia Queen. Hello. And, um, okay, the next one isn't a question either. It says, can I get to know you personally by messaging you on Instagram? Um, it was some more questions on, like, a video that I did, but I, let me see. Yeah, I do not, what, I do not know where the question is at, but, um, yeah, so, that was all the questions that I had got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want me to do another one, just ask me questions down below. I do not mind. I'm trying to do more sit down videos anyway. So yeah, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. I'm my biggest shit. Just a step in out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I dropped 30 on this room, we ain't gonna sleep for shit. If I catch you not off, then it's gonna be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spin